hi welcome to ar care and small guru in this video i am going to demonstrate the progress we have achieved in in motion which is a motion simulation add in for inventor autodesk inventor i'll start with a new part file uh, sorry new assembly file so i'll go for standard assembly click okay and uh, i'm going to build a assembly from scratch so i'll have a simple pendulum so i'll place instances so i have uh, four bar pin okay that is a, a grounded part so i'll have one instance of it and also i'll place another uh, component so it would be four bar C. Okay, fine. Yeah. So I have uh, two components placed, and the first one is uh, grounded by default. The second one can be uh, it, it is uh, movable in nature. So I'll uh, insert a insert joint. So that would be between this uh, extrusion and this hole. So I want the edges uh, faces to be aligned together. So I just select this and say OK. Now let's make it center a bit. OK. Now as you can see this is uh, in, in inventor it's kinematically constrained. So this can uh, give you the behavior of the joints you have imposed now coming to uh, our part so we have uh, an add-in with name in motion that would be listed in applications click on in motion so this is the converted uh, browser tree we have so we have uh, one grounded part and one movable part that these are the constraints in this case it's just one uh, revolute joint which is which is nothing but the ins insert constraint you had put and we have settings for gravity you can uh, set the gravity out here then also we have uh, simulation settings and uh, yeah this is a simulation actual simulation so I cl uh, to have a motion imposed I right click on uh, insert revolute joint I right click on the revolute joint set rotation so I have a constant rotation of say 720 degree per second so that is two revolutions per second so I can go and change the simulation settings so we can say start time simulation is from zero seconds to let's have it one seconds and this is the number of frames per uh, second so in this case it would be hundred frames per second and this is the error tolerance which is uh, pretty much the standard so it has a range from e to prof minus 6 to e to prof minus 12 so I'll just click OK and uh, I right click on simulation and uh, I have enable simulator this will give us a playback deck so once we have this I have to click on the middle uh, button to start the simulation process so now all the paths and constraints are sent to our motion solver and as you can see like we are able to rotate the part so it would take uh, two rotations in this particular example so yeah, this is the first play what we are doing once the simulation is completed we can uh, play back we can also stop then we can step in front forward direction reverse direction we can also step 10 frames per se per uh, step like this or 20 frames depending on the number of frames you have and also we can go to the initial position final position and initial position of this as well now yeah this is the first example and I'm looking forward for more examples thanks for watching